What's up everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in and in today's video I'm gonna be calling motivated sellers live in front of you trying to lock up a wholesale deal on this video. That being said, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because it's gonna be value packed with wholesaling information. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you go down below, hit the red button and subscribe to the channel. It helps me reach more people and impact more lives. So I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe. Other than that, let's get right into it. So before I get started, I am gonna show you what I use on my two screens when I'm wholesaling real estate. Um, when you're calling motivated sellers, I highly recommend that you use two monitors. And then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna share my screen right now and show you what I use. Okay, so the first thing that I use is Wholesale Podio. This is my CRM, my Client Relationship Management System. It is called Wholesale Podio. You can get it at wholesalepodio.com. There's a link down below for this. It handles every department of your wholesaling business, your acquisitions department, transactions, dispositions, follow-up, cash buyers, title companies, team members, key performance indicators, all your data, all your metrics. It does everything. Um, and so when you do marketing, your seller leads, your motivated sellers that you find, they get funneled into this system. And then what it does is it creates a seller lead profile for every single lead. So on one screen, I'll be working in the seller lead profile where I'm taking notes about the conversation I'm having and I have all the information in front of me. All the seller information, Zillow information feeds through, uh, what lead source it came through, through, stage of contact, it sends automatic emails and texts for you um, at the click of a button, lead status, um, temperature, reason for selling, what's their motivation, um, and then auto follow-up the system does automatic follow-up for you so when I set one of these campaigns on it it will automatically send texts and emails to the seller on an ideal sequence every week every day and so on you can set up an ideal sequence for it to follow up with the sellers automatically when I'm sending a contract to the seller this system generates the purchase contract at the click of a button for you all you have to do is put in a few pieces of information click the button and boom you're gonna have a contract generated right there that's just a quick overview of the system. It does tons of stuff. Um, it handles your whole transactions department, you name it. Um, guys, just go check this out at wholesalepodio.com. There's a full demo there. So that's gonna be on one screen. The next thing that I'm gonna be using is PropStream. PropStream is a all-in-one real estate investor tool. It lets you look up any property across the country and it's gonna give you all the information about that property so that way you sound like an expert when you're on the phone with the seller because it has all the information about the property. The square footage, county information, tax information, anything you could think of is there in front of you. And then also it lets you comp the property. Comp means figure out what it's worth. It runs comparables and shows you properties that are similar to yours in the area and what they have sold for so that way you can figure out what your property is worth and then from there calculate your offer. It also lets you do marketing, pull motivated seller lists, create websites, you name it. It does it all. So I highly recommend you check out PropStream. There's a link down below in the description for a seven day free trial. Go get your seven day free trial of PropStream. And then the final thing that I use is my offer calculator. This offer calculator is available at jacobblank.com shop. What you do with the offer calculator is once you get what the property is worth from PropStream, you plug that value into the top of the offer calculator and it's gonna run all the calculations for you and spit out your MAO, your maximum allowed offer to make the seller and give you an offer range to make them. So if you're struggling to calculate accurate offers when it comes to making an offer to the seller, I highly recommend you get this offer calculator at jacobblank.com shop. It does it all for you, runs all the calculations for you, spits out the perfect offer to make the seller I highly recommend you get this jacobblank.com shop but other than that those are the things that I use when I'm calling these sellers I have my calculator on the right screen and prop stream on the right screen and I have my CRM my wholesale podio on the left screen so with that being said let's start calling Hey Barbara, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property on Danbury Lane. Oh, yes. Hello. Awesome. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Thank you. How are you? Doing good. My name's Jacob. I'm with National Home Buyers. Uh, we got your form on our website about an hour ago. 
Uh, I just wanted to call you to ask you a couple questions about the property. Is that okay? That's fine. Awesome. So first question for you is, uh, is there any particular reason why you're interested in selling it? Well, yeah, yeah my, my age. <laughs> so you kind of um, look at my... I reach no, move. Got it. Okay. Um, how old is the roof on the property? Um, it just got redone. So I guess it's a couple years old. Okay. Roof two years old and then your air conditioning unit how old is that um that's 10 years now i'm trying to pull up the address i think you might have typed it in wrong on the website uh 5836 danbury lane or is that wrong no that's right okay let me see why it's not coming up. it's in the community uh-huh it's not a mobile okay. home is it no. Yeah, it's a mo yeah, I put it in as a mobile home. Got it. Do you own the land or no? No. Okay. How much are you looking to get for it? 40. 40. Okay. Um What unit are you? Um uh, what do you mean? Like is there a unit number or anything? Like a lot number? No, no, no. It's it's a uh, lot number is 123. Okay. Um, what year was your home built? 83. Yeah, unfortunately we don't really buy them without the land without owning the oh, land. Okay. Well, let me let me look know, into I... it a bit more cuz this one might be one that we do buy without the land. Um, so let me, let me look into about a bit more and I'll call you back if we're interested. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. Thanks. thanks. Bye. Bye. Can't really do much with that stuff usually. On to the next one. Please leave your message. On to the next one. All right, this one I'm calling is in Poland, Ohio. Not a bad market. Whoa. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property on uh, 5240 Jan Lane, or Lynn Avenue. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, so uh, I just had a couple questions for you. Uh, how you doing today? Good, you? Yeah. Doing pretty good. Um, so yeah, I got this through our website the other day. Um, I just wanted to ask you 
few things about the property while I get my offer together. How old is the roof on it? About a year old. Okay. And then you got a 33 square cost me $17,000 just for the roof. Okay. So you got a central air conditioning unit and if so, how old is it? That's about a year old too. Okay. That's a five ton air conditioner unit and about 150,000 BTU furnace. It's the biggest one we can put in residential. Okay. And then and it has brand new 200 amp service, has a brand new water heater. Uh, what else? Sump pumps, brand new sump pumps. The only thing that the house needs is it needs remodeling at this point. It's about, it's four bedroom, four bath. It's, there's additions that aren't on the county records. How much square feet is it? It's, it's almost 4,000 square feet if you include the uh, finished basement, which, you know, was. Is the basement finished? Is the basement finished? It was at one time, but it's only got a section that's finished now. Framed up. How much how much square feet is it without the basement? I'd say it's close close to three. Okay. Why are you looking to sell it? Well, it, I buy and sell homes. I bought this on the foreclosure. I bought it off the bank. Got it. How so much are you? It and, what's that? How much are you looking to get for it? Well, right now in the neighborhood, it's about two hundred thousand dollars. I'm hoping to get around a hundred. Around a hundred? Yeah. I paid forty-five, forty-six for it. I sunk another sixty into it. So if I can get close to getting my cash out, not even my labor, but just my cash, I'd be happy. Because I'm moving to a different state. Got it. And uh, I'm moving back home. Were those additions permitted or no? I assume so. They're not cheap additions. I mean, they need remodeled, but uh, you know, I have three. The house has three living rooms. Two of them are sunken living rooms with vaulted ceilings and fireplaces. Uh, so basically there's like three additions on the place. Uh huh. And you I said they're going for, is, you said they're going for close to 200 when they're redone? Yeah, that's, 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 that's no, right now my house is valued at 200,000. In its current condition? Yeah, I have the biggest, this house is the biggest house in this neighborhood. It's a, it's a ranch, a single level ranch. Well, I see one that's 2,500 square feet sold for uh, 146. What was that? that? That address was, sorry, it sold for 147. It is uh, 1642 Palo Verde Drive. I have no idea where that's at. I know the one that you sold uh, up the street from me, about four houses up, sold for 186, and it's about half the size of this house. What address is that? That's on, uh, what is that, Basil? Yeah, that's 1745 Basil. It sold for 157. Okay. And it is uh, 2,000 square feet. Yep. Like I said, mine's yeah. about 3000 just without the finished basement. Yep. Okay. Um, okay, let me... Like I said, you could... Right now, well, that sold last year for that price, didn't it? Um, that one sold... You look online, mine's... Uh, yeah, that did sell. It sold a while other ago. Other places like... What's that? Yeah, that one sold a while ago. You're right. Sold middle of last year, the basil one. Yep. So as far as the interior, it's still like pretty much the same as the photos online of of, of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was just working on mechanicals. We're at the point now where we're getting ready to make it pretty. 
Well, no, no it, it wouldn't be the same as the, the, the it's kind of new roof, obviously, so that's that deal. But no, I brought in a 150 foot crane and spent about ten thousand dollars to get rid of four 100 foot trees. Uh huh. Okay, let me look at one more thing here. Like I said, it needs remodeled. It's still got that 80s vibe to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I spent like forty-five hundred dollars just getting the electric turned on in this place. They cut the trunk from the main line to the house, and before they could actually run power back from the main line again, because it sat vacant for like three years or six years or something like that. Have you uh, got it? Have, you haven't got it measured to make sure about that square footage, right? I do. I did have it written down here somewhere, but yeah, the one addition is a on the, I don't know if it's on the records, but it isn't being listed in like Zillow or anything else. Okay. But it is, it is, wait, say that again. It's listed on Zillow at, at the proper square feet? No, right? No, yeah. no, it isn't. That's right here. Let's measure yourself to this guy. Yeah, you don't need to measure the whole house right now, man. No, I'm just doing the addition so you can add it to whatever the hell it's saying. Oh, got it. Yeah, get to that, that wall. It's about 19 feet by get to that wall over there. Nineteen on well, inside dimensions or nineteen by seventeen. So that's three hundred and forty two square feet. Rough, yep. Roughly, right? Around there, yeah. So we add that to your current square footage, which is 1536. That puts us at 1878. Is there another addition? Uh, well, yeah, there's three additions. I'm not sure what square footage you're looking at, but the thing's almost 3,000 square feet up top. Okay. 15 might be the original house. Yeah, so you're, that's one addition. So that only puts us at 1878. So you're saying there's another two additions that make up another 1,000 square feet? or? Yeah, the house is about 50 foot wide by about 50 foot long at this point right now. Well, it's actually like 52 by 50, the house. Okay. Um, Something like that. Something like that. How much work do you think the inside needs? 35? 35 grand? Yeah, yeah I'd say about 10, 10 grand. And up, you know, some carpet and some paint. Those photos. Maybe bring you a bathroom. Okay. All right, well, uh, let me look at one more thing. I got my offer ready for you. I think we're not too far off from what you want, honestly. Um, okay. Hey, yeah, I had some guy off me like thirty grand for it. I'm like, dude, a brand new pickup truck's like a hundred ten thousand dollars. Yeah, that's a joke. Line. My math's coming out around like eighty, but that's net to you. We pay cash as is condition. We can close pretty quick. Okay, are you low cost or area codes off? Yeah, we, we, we have an office out there. I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona at our headquarters. Okay. Did you text me that offer on this phone number? Yeah. Is that something you'd, you'd be interested in or? 
Uh, let me talk to the missus. After all, she's the general. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I mean, that, that sounds close. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Now we just have to figure out logistics because we got to... I mean, we got craft everywhere. We haven't even unpacked since we bought the place. So you're living there? Uh, yeah. You're living yeah, in I'm it living too. There. Oh well, uh, I see. So you bought it to yeah, fix it up while living in it? Yeah, we fixed it up while we were living in it. Yeah. Got you. Okay. Well, yeah, we can give you as yeah. much time as you need, and and uh, and all that. So. Uh, yeah. yeah that, that's that's fine. I think uh, what was it about 10, 15 years ago? This house sold for about 130, 140. If you look at the records. Okay. Uh, I think if you look up the sales history or something like that, because I know she lost it probably about six years ago. I think she bought well, it for 84. Did she? Yeah. Or er, yeah. And the first person to buy it bought it for eighty-seven. Okay. Well, you, well, all right. When do you think you'd be able to talk to the missus? What's well, uh, well, she's here now. She's gonna hang up with you. I want to talk to her. Go over our options. See if that's enough money for us to get into a different home. And then you can call uh, me back. You know, so maybe uh, uh, maybe we could get the process started on this today. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She agrees to it, and she shows me that. I can go out and purchase another uh, fixer upper. Yeah, we can get the process started today. Okay, sounds good. All right, so I'll text you. Um, you have my number, or do you want to write it down real quick? I have it on my cell phone here. I just didn't get your first name. My name's Jacob. Jacob? Yep. I'm Richard. All right, Richard. Nice to meet you. I hope we can do business together. Um, so. Go chat with her, and then I'll call you back in like an hour or two. Sound good? All right, boss. All right, Later. thanks. Thanks so much. Talk soon. Bye. Okay, on to the next one. On to the next one. Hi, this is Sydney. I'm sorry I missed your call. Please leave me a message. I'll call you back. No answer. We're going to send a text. Subscriber you have dialed is not in service. If you feel you've received this message in error, Please hang up and try your call again later. Message C O two eight one fifty six. I made this guy an offer. He was thinking about it and was going to sell to me. Now why is he not answering? The subscriber you have dialed is not in service. Maybe he didn't pay his phone bill. We're going to send him a text and then move on to the next one.
Hello? <laughs> you hear that? Snoring. I don't know if that's a voicemail or he's messing around. Jacob from Seller, let's two accept. Press one. Hello, are you there? Yeah, this is Sydney. Hey, Sydney, I was calling to give you the offer for your property um, on uh, Peterson Lane. You filled out a form on yeah. our website the other day. Correct. Awesome. How are you doing today? Excellent. Thank you. Good. So I just wanted to ask you a couple questions. Uh, first off, is there any particular reason why you're interested in selling it? Yeah, I'm getting ready to move from the out of, either out of state or out of country. I'm not sure which yet. <sighs> okay. How old is the roof on it? Six months. Okay. How about your air conditioning unit? Probably 10 years. Okay, as far as the interior condition, is it in pretty good shape or could it use some work? It's pristine. When's the last time you remodeled the inside? Is it um, is it like the modern well, colors, like grays, blacks, white, or? It's a very slight tan. Okay, and you said white trim. four years ago. Yeah. Okay. Oh, probably about ten years ago. Okay, how much are you looking to get for it? Do you have a number in mind? No. Okay. All right. Well, let me see here what I'd be able to do for you. And it's a four bedroom, three bath, or? Correct. Four, four, four bedrooms, three, four baths. And if we were able to make you an offer you liked, how soon would you be wanting to do something? 30 days. All right. Okay, um, let me just look at one more thing here. What country are you thinking about moving to? I'm probably going down to Central America, that's where my wife's from. Nice. Just looking at one more comparable real quick. We'd probably be between somewhere around mid 600s for it. Okay. 
what are you kind of looking to get? Well, considerably more than that. How much more? Like, what are you looking to get? No, if you're going to get 600, we're too far apart. You guys have a great day. Are you looking for... Call him back. Hi, this is Sydney. Pretty I'm rude sorry. to just hang up on somebody. We'll get a hold of him again. On to the next one. No answer on that one. I'm going to send a text. I'm going to move on to the next one. Please leave your message for Paulo Gulterra. Hello. Please leave your message for. This one's right outside Reno, Nevada, which is a good market. Send a text and an email with the wholesale podio system. Move on to the next one. Hey Lee. Hello. Hey, Hello. Lee. hey Lee, it's Jacob from the other day calling about your property on Capitol Avenue. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Awesome. So I just wanted to check in. I made you that offer of 22000 for it. You said you were going to give it some thought. I wanted to see what you're thinking and, and if we could maybe get the process started. I appreciate that. I, I'm, I'm not going to, um, I think I'm just going to uh, wait. Um, uh, 22 is too cheap. Um, I, I 25, I mean, I, I think 25 is the minimum. 25 is uh, your bottom line? Yes, sir. Okay, and if I gave you 25, you wouldn't wait. You'd do something. Pardon me. And if I gave you 25, you'd 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 make it happen. You wouldn't wait. You'd. It, 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 we're ready to go. Okay. Okay. Um. It's tough. I mean, I I, I can I can wait. I mean, to see. Um. I mean, you call me back or whatever. Um. I think 25 is lower than we're going to. Can we meet? Yeah, you look, go ahead, I'm sorry. Could we meet somewhere? So I'm at 22, you're at 25. What if we call it pretty much even at like 23,500? No, I, I, I mean, honest. Uh, we can negotiate or practice. I'm not very good at that, but... Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm I'm willing to settle for 25. Okay. Um, take out from 27. Um, that, that's as low as I want to go. Okay. Well, we're not so. far off. Um, let me see. Let me let me. Can I put you on a brief hold? Let me just run into the finance department real quick and see what they say, cause, you know, we're we're real close here. I I, I wouldn't want to not make it happen over you know two thousand dollars so let me yeah. let me just put you on a brief hold real quick i'll be right back with you okay okay fine. all right i'm gonna run back there all right
The numbers are right. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, Hey, Lee, a couple other yeah. questions for you. Remind me, it's vacant, right? Nobody's living there. Yes. And and Nobody's it living. and it needs a like a a pretty dang good amount of work on the inside, huh? Well, yes. I mean, to bring it up to where you want to live in it or, or rent it out or something, um, it's it, a. Um, I mean, I would do it if I would be here. Yeah. I just don't have time. Yeah. Okay. One second. still there yes sir okay you know <laughs> with us the, they're concerned because we don't even know the year build on it but you know they're saying 24,000 and that's really like the most and, and we'll get it done cash as is and we can buy it from you here pretty quick 24 work with us a little bit I know you were started at the 27 that's only a little bit lower only three grand lower than, than what you were looking for. Well, I tell you what, I have a uh, couple hours thinking about it. Okay, uh, look, so so you were at twenty seven initially, and so twenty four would be down three thousand. I was at twenty thousand initially, and I've come up four grand. So I've come up four grand. You go down three grand. We meet there. At 24, and we make it happen. I think it sounds fair. Let me think about it. Okay. Um, you want me to call you back in like an hour? Call me back in about an hour. Okay, I'll call you yeah. back in an hour. Thanks, Lee. All right. We'll talk Bye. soon. Bye. Bye. So you're always trying to like skirt this line of whether to pay them what they want and just lock it up or negotiate. And like, cause you don't really want to let them off the phone, but uh, that one makes more sense to get it lower. So, Hello. Yes. Hey, is Sean there? Hey, yeah, I was calling to give you the offer for your property. Um, let me see here. Let me pull your information back up. One second. How are you doing today? Yeah, how are you? Doing pretty good. So it's this property here on uh, 20 West in Hurricane, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Awesome. So a couple questions for you here while I calculate my offer. Uh, first off, is there any particular reason why you're interested in selling it? I'm downsizing. Okay. 
All right. Have you found your new property yet, or no? My wife has a home up in Salt Lake. We're moving up back up here because of medical problems. Okay. You're moving to your wife's. So okay. Um, how old is the roof? Um, I'm not sure. Any issues with it? No. How about your air not conditioning that, unit? Know. How old's your air conditioning unit? That is about three years old. It is a uh, mini split. That was mini split. Okay. There's two units inside. There's room for three or four more. Okay. And no problems with that. Okay. As far as the interior condition, is it in pretty good shape or is it outdated yes. and it could use some work? No, it's in pretty good shape. I've uh, put uh, only lighting, a uh, new floor in the dining room and the front room, and a new back porch. Okay, what type of countertops do you have in the kitchen? Are they granite or are they like laminate? Uh, I think they're granite. They're like rock material or are they like a plastic material? They're a, uh, it's a hard material. Like a rock or like a, like a, like plastic, like a fake countertop? No, it's, it's, um, it's hard, it's a hard, uh, one. Okay, um, let's see, wasn't asking if it was hard. Okay, uh, how much are you kind of looking the at? Bathrooms, yep. The bathrooms are, uh, tile floor. Okay. Uh, the kitchen is laminate, and the three bedrooms are carpet. Okay. Other than that new flooring you did, is it pretty much the same from when you bought it? No, um, it's a good floor. Other than that new flooring you did, like, is the kitchen the same as when you bought it, or? Yes. Okay. How much are you kind of looking to get for it? Um... I'm not sure how to say it. Uh, 300 grand. 300? Okay. It's got a half acre with it. Have you gotten any offers on it yet? or? I have, but uh, they have been really, really low. Yeah, what's uh, the best offer one, you've got? Maybe, uh, 170, and that's about what I paid for it. Oh, wow. That's, that's super low. Yeah, 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 with a half acre. And it also got a, a, a double car garage, which is cinder block. And it's got an RV dump. And it's got some uh, granite uh, uh, fruit trees. Yeah, it's all fenced in except for one side. It's got two gates, the main gate and, the, and then in the side gate. Okay. Um, let's and it's higher than the rest of the house, so it's got a beautiful view. A lot of windows. And it's not a manufactured home, right? It's a. Stick yes. Up. It is a manufactured home or? It's a double wide. Got it. Okay, let me look at one more thing here. We'd be between two hundred to two hundred and fifteen thousand for it. 
200 what? We'd be around like 200, 210,000 for it. That's net to you. We cover all the closing costs. There's no commissions. We buy it in as is condition. We make it super easy for you. We can close pretty quick too. All right, let me talk to my wife. Okay. Cause she's uh, she's you know she's gonna be part of it. All right. Well, talk to her. Uh, when do you think you'll be able to do that? Uh, as soon as she wakes up. Okay. You want me to call you back later today? Yeah, well, I can give you a call later. Okay. You have my number? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's right. All right. So after you talk right. to her, give me a call, okay? All right, Will. All right, thanks. You have a good rest of your day. We'll talk in a bit. Okay, you too. On to the next one. Hello, this is Joe. Hey, I missed your call. Um, what state are you? Are you there? Yeah. Who am I speaking with? My name is Jacob. Maybe I was calling to give you an offer for your property. Are you selling your house or? Oh, okay. Yeah, I am. So I have a property. Do you guys buy properties in Detroit? Yeah. What, what's your name? Okay. I think I might have called you first. What's your name? Joe. Your last name? Kazimi. Huh. Um, what's the address? No, I'm wholesaling it. Okay, you're wholesaling it. Okay. This one is on 3730 Whitney Street in Detroit. How much are you looking to get for it? Uh, at least 100 k The ARVs in the area go up to 180 On the phone. Where are you guys based out of? Scottsdale, Arizona. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we wouldn't be around 100 for this one. I don't see anything that's sold more for more than like 77,000. Uh, look right around the block on Dexter Avenue. 8121 Dexter Avenue. Literally around the block. This is in March. Uh, for one twenty six. It sold for one twenty six. That um, one. Dexter? Yeah. Say a one eighty. What are you looking at it on? Uh prop wire? Pretty current. Yeah, no, prop wire current. is probably not right. Well, I see. I see that it sold for one twenty-six in February, then it sold on the ninth for one eighty. Propware is actually the only one that I've used that's like actually up to date over PropStream and Privy. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let me see real quick. Uh, 
Is this your cell phone? phone? I can uh, send you a picture of what I'm looking at. Yeah, the, yeah, I'm looking at the same thing you are. I pulled it up on PropWire. Okay. Cool. But there's only that one that sold for 180. Everything else is going for a lot lower. We wouldn't be able to do 100. What do you have it under contract for? I'm not going to tell you that. Well, I'm not um, buying it, so how does it hurt? What do you have it under contract for? Uh, 75K. 75. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it might be something. I don't know. We help people sell their deals all the time. We have access to 4.2 million buyers across the country. My name's Jacob Blank. You might know me from, like, YouTube. I'm sorry. You don't? Okay, well, I'll text you my website link, and if you have any other properties, um, we would love to check them out, okay? Okay, so you're not interested in this one at all? I don't believe so. You could submit it through my website and my team will take a second look at it. And maybe, okay. maybe something can I, will change. Can I ask what you guys are kind of looking for? Well, this looks pretty juicy. Uh, we're Detroit looking for area. properties all across the country, as long as the numbers make sense. But this one, for 100, it wouldn't work. Okay, how low do you need it? Well, I, I think 75 might even be too high a bit. I mean, I don't know. It's just not a great area. Stuff's going for all over the place. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Yeah. We can help you guys sell your deals. Uh, just submit them at jacobblank.com slash dispo. There's a link down below in the description for that as well. On to the next one. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Three. Zero four five three three zero seven. Just send a text and move on to the next one. Hello? Please leave. No answer. So we're going to send a text, move on to the next one. The seller just texted me that they want 85000 The person you are calling is current.
I offered 80. He wants 85. Hello? Hey, it's me calling back. So you talked to the wife and, and you guys yeah. are saying 85? Yeah, 85 we can make the move. That would pay, that would get us into another place. I mean, and I'm going to have to do the other people down a little bit. You can get in on that. Okay. Because the cheapest property I can find is 95000 Okay. Um, let me take a look here at something else. That's in a different city. Okay. Um Let me do this. Let me run to the finance department real quick. Let me put you on hold real quick. I'll be right back with you. Let me let me see what they say, because we're not far off hey, from uh, each other. Uh, okay. Uh, you guys cover closing costs, correct? Yeah, we do. We do. Okay. Okay. All right. Give me All one right. second. I'm gonna run to the back office real quick. I'll be right back with you. One All second. All right, boss. It's a new hot water heater, new sump pump, new AC, new roof, four bedroom, four bath. How many bedrooms and baths was this? Three, two. One more question for you. The the bathrooms, they're all full bathrooms? The four bathrooms? They're two full, two half. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. Thanks. Yep. Yeah, maybe your computer plugged again. Huh? But we're not going to take a look at stuff. Okay. So, you're saying 85. They're, they're telling me the max we could do would be 82. Can we meet in the middle at 82? And call it a yeah, day? Yeah, we can do that. Well, okay. We can do that. Sweet. I'll just have to eat some macaroni and cheese for a couple weeks. <laughs> All right, so, uh, and some ramen noodles? <laughs> yeah, sure, ramen noodles. In fact, I'm looking at a big case of them going well. I'm going to be used to this for a little bit. Yeah, okay. that'll work. That'll work. So your wife's name's Desiree? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, uh, are you able to access your email while we're on the phone? Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. 
Sweet, I'm gonna yeah, send yeah. it over to your yeah. email right, right now. Right. Uh, and I'm, I'm writing What's it. This? I'm writing it up right now, and I'm gonna send it over to your email. And okay. uh, and um, yeah, look, we can go over it together uh, right now. I'm gonna get over your computer. Just when would you want to close? Uh, well, like the end of June or? Well, we can get before that. I think. Right now we just start packing up. We're like, oh, okay, so it's gonna go this quick. Uh, uh, how about like June twenty third? If that's if that works for you. Yeah, what well, what are you thinking? I mean, we could. He's does he say closing on June twenty third, or we you know, you know if. Or we, we could do the following room? Monday, the twenty sixth. Well, you got those two weeks off from the hospital, so we can just use that to, to move. Yeah, that'll work out. The twenty twenty third. That'll work out. Okay. Do you want to do the following Monday, the twenty sixth, or no? Yeah, we can do the following Monday, the twenty fifth. That's fine. Okay. All right, the twenty sixth. Okay. And your email I have here is. Yeah, Burlhart Richard. At okay, got it. All right. I'm trying to sign up into my stuff. Uh, use my worst computer. Um. Oh my God! Why is your phone keep going off? At the click of a button with the wholesale podio system, you can send the contract. All right, so I just sent the contract over to your email. Okay, Okay. All right, it's gonna let me in. Uh, ah, Google is a pain in the butt. They got so many authorization steps and texting that <laughs> to make sure it's me. Uh, National Home Buyers, I think that's yep, you. Yep, that is us. So let me know when you have that open, and I'll go over it with you. Okay, let I'm me try and click you, on it now. You click review and then let me know when you see purchase agreement for real estate in front of you. Okay. Yep, I got it. Purchase agreement for real estate. Yeah, so let me get it pulled up as well. There we go. I don't know why it's taking forever to load. One second. Okay, so this agreement is made today between you guys and our company for the property address. We're buying the property in as is condition. Uh, anything like trees that are permanent to the property and stuff like that, you got to leave behind. Purchase price, we're buying it for eighty-two thousand. Uh, closing costs, attorney fees, title fees, transfer fees, all the closing costs are be paid by the buyer. Any taxes, liens, encumbrances, HOA dues, uh, mortgage owed on the property will be uh, paid by you. 
out of the proceeds. Uh, okay. Again, we're buying it in as-is condition. Seller to provide buyer with permission to access the property if we need to walk through it. Um, the offer is contingent on clear title, so we are going to order a title search promptly and uh, use a title company. Defect. Okay. Seller warrants that the property is free from hazardous substances, so there's no dangerous chemicals in the property. Risk of loss. If property is damaged prior to transfer, we can still buy the property. No judgments. Seller warrants that there's no judgments threatening the equity in the property and that there's no pending bankruptcy. Process. Nope. Buyer arrived at the offer price by carefully evaluating current market values and then estimating expenses and making projections on profits. It's telling you a little bit about our process. Acceptance. This agreement will become binding when signed by both of us. Any modification to this agreement must be made in writing. Close of escrow to be that June uh, 26, that Monday. And then uh, title company to be determined. We'll use uh, one that we've used in the past near you. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Simple as is purchase agreement. Do you have any questions? Nope. No questions? Okay, great. So there's, yeah. a, there's a box for your autograph and the date. And then once you sign it, you'll go back to your email. It'll send another signing session for your wife to sign. Okay. Well, yeah, it does. Ready to sign this? Yep. Are you sure? Okay. Huh? 82,000. Can you live with that? I mean, either this or this guy's going to kick my ass. Huh? All right. Oh, yeah. I'm going to sign it. Sign. All right, it signed my name on it. Okay, now what do you want me to do? Okay, and now put the date in. It, it did that by 22, 2023. Okay, now click submit. It says finish down there. Yeah, oh, okay. click finish, and then and then once it's fully done, go back to your email. It'll send you another copy for uh, her to sign. Save a copy of your document. Don't worry about that. It's going to send you a final copy once we're all done. Okay. Just go back to your inbox. You should see another national home buyer email. Okay. Leave your document. All right, guys, we're going to click here to sign, okay? Mm -hmm. Sign it. We're going to do that, adopt and sign. Go down here and finish. Okay, there we go. Okay, I got that. And then I'm going to sign right now. It's going to send you a final copy. Okay. And then the only other thing we'll need from you is when you can, let's get a more accurate measurement on that just for our records. Okay. On the square footage. And then if you could send us pictures of the property, the front of the house, every room, and the backyard, and the basement, that would be great. Okay. Okay. And uh, you'll, need to, you'll need to send those to my cell phone number because the number we're talking on right now is my computer phone and it can't receive photos. So let me give you my cell phone number real quick. Let me know when you're ready. All right, my cell phone number is, yep, okay. And um, so I just signed it. It sent you back a final copy. And uh, we'll get started on this right away. You think you can send those photos to me today and try to get a better measurement today? I might be able to do measurement. Like I said, there's stuff everywhere. The pictures look like shit. Uh, yeah, we're not really worried about the stuff. We kind of just want to see the bones of the house. We know we're going to be doing a full remodel on it anyways. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. Let me go get my 100-foot uh, tape measure. I mean, and, if you uh, wanna, if you wanna clean, you just, if you wanna clean you, it you up a little bit. You just go on the outside, or 
Yeah, like uh, just get a better measurement on it, you know, of uh, what what do you think it is because that's important. Um, okay. And then if you want to like clean it up some and send the photos tomorrow, that's fine. Just send them within the next couple days. No problem. Okay. All right. Sounds amazing. Right. Thanks so much, guys, and I look forward to working with you. All right. Thank you too, Jacob. Yep. You have a good rest of your day. You too. Bye. Sweet. There we go. Deal locked up. And it's done just like that. Just like that. There we go. There we go. That is how it's done. That being said, we'll wrap up the video right there. If you guys enjoyed this video, which I hope you did because it was value packed, we talked to a bunch of motivated sellers and we even locked up a wholesale deal live. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. Also go down below, hit the red button and subscribe to the channel. Also there's links in the description for everything I use in my wholesaling business. Make sure to check out jacobblank.com, wholesalepodio.com and thecallgenius.com for cold callers. I look forward to uh, making more of these videos and helping you guys out as best that I can. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.